personal story segment tonight, as you may know, the Fox TV program Family Guy took a cheap shot at Sarah Palin and her family by using a cartoon character with Down syndrome to mock her. Mrs. Palin, of course, has a Down syndrome baby. Well, we asked Dr. Frank Luntz to wire up the folks and get their reaction to the Frank situation, to the situation, and Frank joins us now. Okay, the folks are whom? Philadelphia voters, yep. 13 who voted for John McCain, 11 who voted for Barack Obama, mm -hmm. and they watched both Sarah Palin and the cartoon itself, and the reaction we got was shocking to Okay, me. let's roll the cartoon. Go. Hi, Chris. Wait a minute, that's the girl? Yeah, isn't she special? That's the way the state of Rhode Island would put it. Uh, there's something up with her, isn't there? Yeah, she's got Down syndrome. Oh, okay, well, there we go. She's so sweet. And doesn't she have the most beautiful eyes? Well, the spacing seems a tad off, but yeah, individually, they're not awful. It got to be this rude all evening. You haven't asked me anything about myself. Oh, um, sorry. Um, uh, so, so what do your parents do? That's better. My dad's an accountant, and my mom is the former governor of Alaska. All right, now, it, after she said former governor of Alaska, we cut it off, but yeah. where did the line go? The Republican line tanked and we asked them if you think it's funny you dial it up if right. you think it's offensive you dial it down now I would have assumed that Democrats they have a reputation of being more compassionate and more caring Republicans have a reputation for being tougher more no, no nonsense and yet the Democrats didn't find that offensive and the Republicans did so it's all about Palin it's, not about the it's material. all about Palin and right. look the family guy people it's almost an in, it's not almost it is an insult and when you've got these, when you've got people who are watching, making fun of someone in that way, could you imagine what would have happened if a conservative had done that? Well, yeah, the there's outcome. always a double standard in the media, but there shouldn't be among the folks. So you're saying that basically that the people who voted for Barack Obama were not offended by this cartoon, but the people who voted for um, McCain were. were. Okay. I'm sorry it breaks down along uh, party lines. Now, um, as you may know, Sarah Palin came on the factor to address the controversy, so roll the tape on that. So, Governor, um, what do you think? It's pretty nasty, is it not? Mm, this world is full of cruel, cold-hearted people who would do such a thing. Look, I, I look at Trig, and I see perfection. I see a precious little child already toddling around. You can see that he has a heart of gold. I also can see into the future that Trigg is going to have a, a pretty tough, challenging life in front of him. He's going to face things as special needs children will be facing much more difficult than we ever will. So why make it tougher on the special needs community? That's what I thought when I first heard about this, um, this episode that really isn't funny. Okay. I approach this without having any political allegiance. And I'm watching those dials go, and I have to tell you candidly that I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? This is not a former vice presidential candidate or a governor. This is a mom talking about a challenge a baby. with her children. A baby. A baby. Right. And, and You can't go uh, get above 50. Among, Demo among, among Obama Democrats. voters. I don't understand that. They hate her. But isn't it, shouldn't we look at the person first before well, it's the not, politics? It isn't, it isn't so much that to me. Um, the surprising part is she wasn't talking about anything other than herself. She was talking about her baby. And you couldn't get above 50% when she's talking about a special needs baby. So where's the compassion? There's not. The you know, and so they couldn't, the people that you wired up couldn't separate what happened from her. Exactly. And, and you saw the Republicans, they like her. But I think they were probably listening to the conversation because you, when she hit the baby line, it went. But let like me tell that. you, if you go back to the convention of 2008 when she talked about her children, at that point, Democrats gave her a very yeah, high rate. She hadn't that. been demonized. By exactly, that and, it, been and demonized that tells you that the demonizing works, works all the way through. Well, it works in the, in the Democratic.